for discussion on International Women's Day, Suman Joshi, entrepreneur in hydropower energy sector, joins all in the radio, who is an entrepreneur in hydropower as well as an import business of electric scooters in Nepal. Welcome, Suman Joshi ji, to all in the radio. As you see, as a woman yourself, woman entrepreneur, how do you plan to support, empower other women in the business? Some, some women have a clear indication that they will be doing something in future. Maybe they have completed graduation and they will be doing something. So at that time, this kind of experiences, I always share with them. Don't just fall apart. Don't move away from your dream. And uh, you would believe or not, I would also give suggestion to the parents. Many of the parents I have shared. Okay, how old is your son? 25. How old is your daughter? 22. What will you do when your daughter gets graduation or post-graduation? What is she doing? She's studying. What is studying? Graduation or post-graduation? What will she do in the future? So she has something in mind. Maybe after 25 or 26, we have to get married and then because we have to give birth to a kid also. That is again a challenge for a woman. You have time set. Biologically, you have a time set for giving birth healthy. So by that time, you have to complete all the things that you can do at your family. So I always uh, ask parents, have you ever asked or talked with your daughter that maybe she wish to start some business, whatever it be, small boutique, big boutique, whatever it be, small business, big business, or maybe kind of industry, small industry, big industry, doesn't make any difference, any kind of industry, any kind of uh, manufacturing unit or trading, whatever it be, but in business or in entrepreneurship, have you ever asked with your daughter? Many of the parents have said that uh, not touched so much. I have said, have you ever segregated a part of your cash? I don't know how much you, you, you might have in your wallet or in your wallet. Have you ever thought of segregating a part of cash? So I always suggest, and can you go home and then start thinking about this? Can you just spare some amount to your daughter and say that if you have any kind of dream, this amount, this asset, whatever we have earned, also belongs to you. There is a policy from Nepal Rashtra Bank, which is our governing regulatory body, Central Bank of Nepal, that up to 1.5 million Nepali rupees can be accessed by women without collateral as uh, what we call the Mahila Uddhyam Shilkarza, Women okay. Entrepreneurship Loan. Yes, you should know about this information, get the information, who knows? You will also be eligible to get that 1 million or 1.5 million loan. Always encourage them to at least to go to three, four areas. One is garment, always. Second is food business. Food business is also very good. And for few women, I have also said them that if you really, if you think that you can do business, and if you are backing your feet because you don't have access to finance, I will invest on you. That's a very good initiative from your side for uh, other young women entrepreneurs and you're encouraging girls to do their own business. That's very encouraging words from your side that you have been doing. And the thing, because in this world you see gender inequality is there. We cannot deny that. So how do you think men can be allies in the fight of for gender inequality, to have equal representation of women as a workforce or uh, in the leadership, how do we take this men as our allies? That's a very tricky question. The reason is that, uh, as I'm saying, as I said, that acceptance is a big thing. So acceptance by whom? Definitely by male colleagues, by male people. So. I think it's all about, first thing is educating them that uh, we're not a burden. When we are planning for 2035, then why are not we planning to give the education at school level while these kids will be hiring the women at 2035 or 2040? So I also personally think that it's again the issue of moral values. It's again an issue of respecting women. It's again an issue of uh, accepting women as your counterpart. So females have very well managed their home. So why can't they manage the office? Or using four stoves at a time. And then cleaning utensils also. That multitasking superiority of work management, time management, mind management, that female are doing. Then why they can't do at the office? They of course can do at the office. 
So I think the kids who are as they is a 14, 15, or 16, and who are currently at a school, they should be given a very, very good education, learning, and training because they have also seen that their female colleagues are becoming first, second, and third. They are competing in education. They are competing there because now it's not the age. Uh, I mean, it's the co-ed system in most of the parts of the world. So in co-ed, they are competing with female the colleague, their friend who are girls. So it means that they are prepared to compete in workforce also. They should be prepared to compete in the workforce also, and female can equally do so do well. So I think that this kind of education needs to be done at the school level itself, so that after probably five year or ten year, when they will be in the workforce, they will not find it a kind of very difficulty in accepting women as a leader, accepting women as a colleague. Yeah, that's a very good suggestion. I would yeah. say educating boys at very young age, and uh, when there is co-education, they respect their women classmates, girls classmates. They know they are competing at uh, school mm-hmm. stage, so they can even compete when they are in the workforce. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that will be creating an environment of gender equality. It's yeah. a long-term version. For a short term, you can have a training or something like that. What happens is if you are talking uh, any kind of men, either it's a 40 or 45, for example, and if you are saying that. We are also equally competitive. We are not giving us a chance directly or indirectly. So their male ego might hurt because few male have not accepted throughout their age that women could be very good competitor and a very good leader. Really wonderful talking to you, Suman Joshi, on International Women's Day. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much.